guys welcome back to my channel i am makeup by car may today i am doing my big sister chanel's makeup she has a photo shoot today now y'all know i don't do makeup anymore but for her she gets whatever she wants first i'm doing the brows i'm using anastasia's dip brow today and y'all y'all see me watching baldwin hills in the back i've been binge watching that and baldwin hills used to jump if you wasn't watching that you was lame and it is still good today y'all better watch that it's on hulu now Now I'm just cleaning the brows up using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. See, this is why I don't like doing people makeup. You see how she on the phone? She just so rude and disrespectful. She was like all in my way with that phone. Like, girl. Oh my gosh. This is why. That's exactly why. <laughs> Now I'm just taking a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just blending out the concealer. Yeah, I would visualize, uh, yeah, I would this visualize. is when you were broken for. Y'all know I'm out of my P. Louise. So we're using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige for eyeshadow primer today. Next, I'm using my Jewel Crew 9C Morphe palette, and I'm using the shade Rock Out for my transition color. Y'all, don't talk about my palette. My setting powder spilled out in my makeup case and got all on my palette, so that's why it looks dusty. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm using my Urban Decay Neck and Reloaded palette. I haven't used this palette in a while, but I really like this palette. I usually keep this palette in my makeup case from when I was doing makeup. That's probably why I haven't used it in a while. But the shade I am using is called Endgame. I'm just using the brush I use for my transition color to make sure everything is blended out nicely how I want it. 
I'm still using the LA Girl Concealer for eyeshadow primer, but I found my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer in my kit, so I decided to use that also. It is called Eden, and I'm just using both of those to cut the crease. Now I'm going back into my Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette and I'm using the shade Barely Baked and that is going to go on the lid. Using that same shade in game, I'm just smoking out the corners of her eye. I'm also going to go over the crease again a little bit to make it look more defined. Now it's time to prime the face. We're using the Stila One Step Primer in the Milk of Magnesia. The Stila One Step is going to color correct any discoloration in the skin. The Milk of Magnesia is going to help my homegirl's makeup last all day long. Y'all call my sis my homegirl. <laughs> but this is going to make her makeup last all day. We don't want her getting oily throughout the day, especially not for a photo shoot. You definitely want your makeup to last all day for something like that. So my sister isn't a person that wears makeup a lot so she didn't have her own foundations so I mixed some shades together to get her perfect shade. We're using the Maybelline Fit Me and I mixed shades 335 and 362. So real quick, I'm just cleaning up the top of her brows. Usually I do this in the beginning. Y'all know I don't like halo brows. I was waiting to match her skin for foundation. So I'm just cleaning them up real quick at the top. For concealer, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer again, and that is still in the shade Fawn.
I'm taking my Smashbox primer water and spraying my beauty blender down so it can be damp and I'm just blending out that concealer. To set the concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in Honey. If y'all been watching me, y'all know I've really been loving this powder. This powder is amazing. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette and I'm mixing that dark brown shade and that lighter brown shade together and I'm just dusting off this excess powder. Now I'm using that same brush I used for foundation and I'm just pressing the powder into the skin. I want to make sure everything just looks flawless how I want it. I'm just going back over her brows again with the Anastasia Dip Brow. I do this because sometimes it may mess up a little bit when applying foundation and powder. So I just want to go over it again. Next, I'm using my Warrior Palette by Juvia's Place. I'm just mixing those two brown shades for contour. Using that in game shadow to smoke out the bottom waterline. Next, I'm using the LA Girl Eyeliner to line up the bottom waterline. You guys, my sister made this so hard for me. Like, <laughs> she kept moving. I told her to scrunch her toes if she feels uncomfortable, but. It just was not working, so I had to do the best I could to do that waterline. <laughs> now it's time to wing it out. If y'all been watching me, y'all already know I'm using the NYX liquid liner. This one is the best. This one right here, right here. I don't think no one's messing with this liquid liner right here. Like, I haven't seen anything that is touching this. If y'all got any good ones that y'all know of, please let me know in the comments. But this one right here, I'm sorry. Best one hands down. <laughs> Thank you. 
For highlighter, I'm using the Milani Strobe Light Highlighter and it is called Rayo Knot, if I am pronouncing that correctly. I'm using my favorite blush on my sister as well. This is the Too Faced Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo in the shade Plamagrante. Before I get into using lashes, I'm going to spray on some matte Morphe setting spray. For mascara, I'm using the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. For lashes today, I'm using the Lancely Magnetic Lashes, and I'm using these short ones right here because this is what my sister wanted. She is so lame. She don't ever want to do nothing long and dramatic. She just want to be lame, but I guess it's okay for her to be born. <laughs> it was still cute, though, and I applied the lashes with Ardell Duo Lash Glue, and y'all know I'm using the green one. Our lip combo today is actually a eyeliner that I got from the beauty supply store. It is in the shade brown. Y'all know eyeliners and lip liners. They're basically like the same thing. I'm also doing the Bare Minerals Liquid Matte in the shade Swag. And I'm doing the Knits Lingerie and the color is called Lace Detail. So I decided to add this Ulta Brand Butter Balm Lip Gloss on top for a finishing touch and it is in the shade Bell. And we are done with makeup. My sis looks so cute. Her eyes are so pretty y'all and those are her eyes. Like those are her real eyes. She has hazel eyes. <laughs> I didn't get blessed with them but she looks cute. Now let's see how my sis is looking on set. Shout out to Aaron for shooting this amazing clip of this video for me. I'm going to have his information down below if you all would like to book with him. But that is a wrap, you guys. You already know what to do. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, and follow your girl on social media. Bye.